In today's video, I want to show you how to design advanced custom websites. So let's say a client comes to you and they say specifically that they want a website where they can advertise their cars and that website also should give them the opportunity to add the image, the description, the pricing, and also maybe the engine size. Now, how would you do that from a basic Divi install? It's almost impossible. And if you were to decide maybe it could be a, a plugin that I could use. Again, that is almost impossible because all the other plugins out there, they have specific functions. So let me show you what we're going to be designing in today's tutorial. So this is a custom design. So it has this car. It has this text that comes over here on the top. We have the description, the price, the engine, and also the call to action and obviously the car over here. So you may be thinking, well, this can be done easily using Divi, but you'll be surprised because what we've managed to do here is to install, install advanced custom fields. And then we also came over here to the Divi theme builder and designed the theme for this layout. And here it is, all our cars. So what happens now is every time, so what happens now is every time we enter all the details of the car, it's gonna have a consistent look. Now look at this, we have Audi A5 here and we have the Mercedes-Benz over here. How do we enter this content? Well, it's very easy. If you come over here to our cars, and by the way, this is a new entry, we have our two cars here, Audi and Mercedes. So if we add a new car, this is where you'd enter the name of the car, the image, the description, the price and the engine size. And the final result is something that looks like this. Can't wait to show you how this is done. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. So let's go ahead now and install a plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. It's absolutely free. So we're gonna come over here to Plugins, click on Add New. And what you wanna do is to search for Advanced Custom Fields. So I've already gone ahead and installed it and activated it. So we are good to go. You can see the entry is over here on the bottom left. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to Divi University. Now, this is a membership website which has courses, plugins, themes, and so on that all relate to Divi. And also, the lifetime membership is still active. It's 70% off. Links to all of that in the video description below. Okay, so what we need to create first is the post type. So we're going to go ahead and click on post types. Click on add new. So... The post type here is cars, or we can just call this our cars. And we also need to add a singular label here. So let's call this our car. So we don't need to worry about taxonomies. We just wanna leave that as it is. So this is our, our new post type. We're gonna go ahead and save changes. The next step now is to add our field groups. Now, by the way, if you haven't uh, noticed it, now we have an entry here called our cars. So now we wanna add our field groups. So the first group we need to add here is the image of the car. So let's go ahead and add that. So we're gonna give this a name. So let's give this a label. So let's say car image. So the type of field we need here is an image. And here it is. So let's call this car image. Now we can go ahead and save. Now we need to add another one. Now we mentioned that we need the car description. So this is going to be text. So let's select text area car description. Let's add another one. And again, this is going to be text. So this one here is going to be the name of the car. So what we want to do is to keep adding all our fields until we have all the fields that we need. And by the way, the really cool thing about this as well, in fact, let me just save what I've done so far. So the cool thing here is we can drag these and put them into position. So name of car could actually go all the way to the top and then the car image, the description. Now let's add the pricing and also the engine size. So I've gone ahead and added my car price, engine size. So I have all the fields that I need and I've already gone ahead and saved. So the final thing we need to do now is to scroll all the way down here and map this information. So here it says post type is equal to, if we click on this drop down, notice that it says post. Now, if we add this information here to the post, that means every time we create a blog post, these fields are going to be present on the bottom. So, but we don't want that. If we go to page, again, they'll be shown on the page. But what we need right here is our car. So that's what we created earlier on. Now let's scroll all the way up here and click on save changes. So all the fields that we've just created are now uh, linked with the post type itself. Okay, so let's see if this works now. So over here we have 
our cars, which is the post type, the custom post type, which, which we created. I'm going to click here and then click on add new car. So for the title here, I'm just going to call this Mercedes Benz. Okay, so let's go with the name of the car. Again, this is Mercedes Benz. Next, we need to add our image. So I'm going to click here on add image. Now, these are the custom post types that we were talking about. I can now go in or your client can now go in and add all this content on the car description. I'm going to paste that. Scroll all the way down here. We have our car price. So let's say this is going for $200,000. Engine size, this is a three liter V6. How about that? Okay, so you see these entries here where we can enter the name of the car, the image, the description. This is what was created with our plugin. So now let's go ahead and publish this. Let's add one more car. Let's go back over here. So let's add, so now we can see here we have Mercedes Benz. Let's add another one. So this time this is an Audi, name of car, Audi A5, or is it A5? Yep. Let's go to the image and let's say this is the image right here. I'm going to select it. Now let's add our description. The price here is 100,000 and the engine size is the 2 liter V6. All right, so we've entered two cars. Let's go ahead and publish this. Now I want to show you something very interesting at this stage because right now we've entered all the information that we need. But if we try to view this, it's not going to work and I'll show you why. So we're going to open this in a new tab and notice what happens. All we have is just the Audi and then buy and then the date. Pretty much that's it. But this is not what we're looking for. We want this page to show all the information. So what we need to do now is to create a template. So we're going to come over here all the way down here to theme builder. Click on this plus button, build new templates. We're going to scroll all the way down here. And this is the really cool thing about Divi. What has happened now is it has now created the ability for us to create a template for uh, our cars. So what we need is all our cars. Now let's create a template, custom body, build custom body. Okay, so now we want to design the page and really make it look the way we want. Okay, so let's start off by adding a single column here. And in this column, we're going to add an image. But because this is a template, we cannot go in and add the image here. We need to delete this and make sure we are now using dynamic content. So I'm going to click here and we're going to come all the way down here to our car image. You notice there we have ACR and then we have our car image. Go ahead and do that. Excellent. So let's go ahead and save. Next, I'm going to come over here into this background here and let's add a very dark color here. So we're going to go with a very dark gray. Maybe that will do. Let's go ahead and save. Now, if you want to add more items in here, we can always go ahead and do that. So let's say this time we need to add the title. Now, because I can't really go in here and add my title, what I can do is I can just click here on expand settings, and then I'm going to go to my layers. So in these layers here, I can just click here, expand that until I get into the column. And now I can click on this plus button. And what we need is a text module. I'm going to select it. I'm just going to drag it so it's above the image. Great. I'm going to click on this little gear icon so I can go in and customize it. So what we need here is to go into the visual, click on the dynamic thing. So what we need is the name of the car. Okay, so now that we have the name of the car and the image, the final thing we need to do on this section is to go in and head over to spacing. Now, this is where we need to add our padding. So let's set this to 4%. So at least we have some breathing space on our design here. In fact, we may need to increase it to maybe 6% and then save. All right, so it's time now to enter even more information about uh, the scar. So we're going to go to regular. So what we need here is two columns. So on the left here, in fact, most of these are going to be text modules. So we're going to start off with this one. And this is going to be the name of the car. I'm going to save that. Come over here to design. Go into our text. So for our text here, we need to set this to bold. We are going to make it slightly bigger. So let's go with 2EM and then we're going to save. Now let's add another text module. So this time, this is going to be the description of the car. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to car description. I'm going to save that. Save one more time. In fact, we might as well just duplicate this. This might save us a bit of time. Again, we're going to click in here. So what we need to do is to delete this one, go into my dynamic content, and this time it's going to be the car price. 
Okay, so we're going to say car price, colon, and then we're going to add our dollar sign like that. So this is what's going to come before. And then we're going to save. Finally, I think we have the uh, engine size. So we're going to delete that, go to our engine size. So this one here should be fine. So we're going to leave it as it is and save. All right, so we have all our content here. We have our image, but you know what? I think I've changed my mind. The way I have my image here is not right. So let's delete this image and add it as a background. So let's come over here, go to our background, go to the third tab, and then we're gonna click here and choose our car image. Okay, so we can see here things are looking very dark. So what I may want to do is to come over here to my image blend and set this to multiply. There we go. And then finally, I'm just gonna come over here to my background and reveal this a little bit like that. Now, so far we can't really see what is happening here. We would need to uh, save the page and then uh, take a look and see what is happening. But over here, definitely we are going to need to change uh, the text here so that it's easier to read. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Save one more time. So let's close out of here and save changes. So remember, we opened up uh, Audi in here. So let's refresh this and see if our template now has applied. And sure enough, it has. So we have Audi A5, we have our car description, we also have our price and two liter V6. So we may need to go in and do a few tweaks here. Already I can see that uh, I can do a bit of tweaks here to make this look much better. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So back over here, we're gonna go back into our custom body. So let's go into our section settings. So this time we're gonna go into design, sizing. So for our minimum height here, I'm gonna set this to 80 VH. Next over here in the advanced tab, you wanna make sure that you go to custom CSS um, module elements, and then you wanna to go to a main element. So for this text here to be centered, you need to add this code called display flex. So once we've done that, we can save this and I just want to go in and customize this text one more time. So we're going to go to design text. So let's just make this um, slightly bigger. So we're going to go with uh, 3 EM. Or maybe let's go with 2.4. Okay, I think that's better. And then we're going to save. So over here, we have these two columns. So I'm going to go in and go into the first column. So in here, we're going to add a background color. And this is going to be a very light color. So we're gonna start off with black and then I'm just gonna come all the way up here until I get as close uh, to white as possible. There we go. All right, so F4, F4, F4. Next, we're gonna come over here to design. In fact, let me snap this over to the left so I can see what I'm doing. So now I can go into, let's go into spacing. We're gonna go with 6%. So we want some breathing space on our design here. And we're also going to have it all around. Next, we are going to add a border and let's add 10 pixels. Great. So now this is looking good so far. I'm gonna save that, save it one more time. So once I save my template, I should be able now to uh, come over here, refresh this and take a look and see what this page looks like. Okay, so we have Audi A5 here. We have um, the description, the car price and so on. Okay, it's looking good, but not as good as we want. So finally, over here on the right, I need to add my image. So this is going to be the main image of the car. So I'm gonna select it. Again, let's delete this. Click here on dynamic, and we're gonna come over here to car image. Next, we're gonna come over here to design border, and let's give this 10 pixels. Pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm happy with that. Now let's go ahead and save. So if we save this page and close out of here, we can now come to this page, refresh it, and take a look at our car. And there we go. So we can see now that we have our Audi A5 here, the car price, the engine size, and here's a picture of the car. So if we need to, we can you know further adjust this and make this um, you know much bigger, make this smaller. All we need to do is to make sure we come over here to the template. So let's say we want to give this design a bit more space we can actually go in and um, make the car the focus by changing the size of uh, this layout. So we're gonna say one third, two thirds like that. And we're gonna set this to design sizing. And we want this to be 80% like that. 
Now on the equalize column heights, and I'm gonna activate you know custom gutter width and set this to two, and then save. Now just these few changes um, can happen pretty much across the whole website, and this is going to affect all the cars on our website. So now that I have saved this, I'm gonna close out of here, save all changes, and now let's take a look at our template one more time. There we go. So you notice now we have more of the car here. And then we have our description over here on the left. Now we can also put a call to action here. And I think that's a very good idea because if we uh, don't add a call to action, then this page here, you know, doesn't really do us any good. So I'm gonna come back and let's go back over here. So you can decide where the call to action is to go. Do you want it to come over here where the image is or do you want it to come over here? So I'm gonna click on this plus button here and search for our button module, select it. Now let's snap this over to the left. So the button here is, I want this car. So on the link here, it's very important that you choose the link. So this could go onto a specific page on your website. So in this case, you know, I don't have a specific page. This could be our contact page. It also could be a page that was specifically built for the inquiries of this these cars. All right, so I'm just gonna add a blank link for this. So let's go again. So I'm gonna add a blank one. Next, let's design this button here. So I'm gonna to go to my button, activate use custom styles for button. And the text size, I'm gonna leave that as it is. The text color, let's go with white. Uh, we don't need any border. So for our color here, we're gonna go with this orange. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and save. Save one more time. Now, when we come over here and refresh, we now notice that we now have a call to action button. So if someone is scrolling here, they look at the car here, they read the description, the car price, the engine size, perhaps they wanna get in touch. They'll click over here and this now takes them to the inquiries page. Or we can add a phone number here if we wanted to. So you may be wondering, well, this design here, what happens if we add a totally different car? Or if we try to view a totally different car on our website. Now let's go over here to all our cars. And remember, we had a Mercedes-Benz. So if I now say view, look at that. The title is there, Mercedes-Benz. Here's our image. This is now a different price, Mercedes-Benz. Now here's the engine size and the car price. You see now. So every car you're going to enter here is going to follow that template. So as you can see, this is a very powerful way of designing custom websites. And this takes you now from the standard way of building websites with a custom DV install to now adding custom post types. So this way of designing websites has unlimited possibilities. This could be a recipe website where maybe a client wants to add all their recipes themselves, where they can just enter them the same way I was doing here. So this is a really, really cool way of designing websites. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.